The best metal cutting tool depends largely on the type of metal being cut, the quantity and also on your experience level. Watch this video to learn about the best metal cutting tools to have on hand. Hacksaw. A hacksaw is a fine toothed saw originally and mainly made for cutting metal, but can also cut various other materials such as plastic and woods. Plumber and electrician often cut pipes and plastic conduit with them. It is a hand tool with a removal blade. Due to alignment of the teeth on the blade, the saw cuts on the forward, not the backward stroke. Ideal for small projects and home improvement needs. The hacksaw is typically one of the first tools a homeowner purchases, thanks to its low cost and versatility. Snips, as snips also know as shears, are hand tools used to cut sheet metals and other tough webs. There are two broad categories, tinner's snips which are similar to common scissors, and compound snips which use a compound leverage handle system. Tin snips are an inexpensive handheld tool that cut straight, or if the blade is curved, can cut curves and circles. Tin snips are ideal for cutting soft metals like aluminum and copper, and are especially useful for cutting sheet metal, metal roofing and studs. Thanks to their sharp blades, tin snips typically leaves a smooth edge. Shears is an upgrade from the manual tin snips. This power tool comes in handy when your project calls for cutting bulk or long metal sheet. Not only can it make a lot of clean cut quickly, but it can also handle a thicker gauge metal. Angle grinder. An angle grinder is also known as side grinder or disc grinder. It is a handheld power tool used for grinding, abrasive cutting and polishing. The angle grinder is a useful power tool that's as versatile as they come. An angle grinder can be powered by an electric motor or compressed air. The motor drives a geared head at right angle, on which is mounted an abrasive disc, or a thinner cut-off disc, either of which can be replaced when worn out. Angle grinder typically have an adjustable guard and a side handle for two-handed operations, in addition to cutting stones, tiles, concrete and mortar. This tool can cut a variety of metal, from aluminum to steel, by simply changing the cutting wheel to a metal cut-off wheel. There are many different kind of discs, that are used for various material and tasks, such as cut-off disc, diamond blade, abrasive grinding disc, grinding stones, sanding disc, wire brush wheel, and polishing pads. Circular saw. A circular saw is a power saw using a toothed or abrasive disc or blade to cut different materials using a rotary motion spinning around an arbor. Circular saw were invented in the late 18th century and were common use in sawmills in the United States by the middle of the 19th century. Any metal that generally requires just a simple straight cut can be cut by a circular saw with the right blade. And depending on the blade you choose, you may be able to stack up a couple of pieces and cut them all at once, reducing your cutting time. In a cold saw, a cold saw is a circular saw designed to cut metal which uses a toothed blade to transfer the heat generated by cutting to the chips created by the saw blades allowing both the blade and material being cut to remain cool. A cold saw uses a coolant features to keep the metal that's being cut friction free and not too hot while offering clean precise cuts. Cold saw uses either a solid high speed steel or tungsten carbide tipped reshape enable circular saw blade. A cold saw is an expensive tool but if you're fabricating and cutting metal regularly, it is worth the investment. The blade won't wear out quickly as it typically does in other metal cutting tools. And you won't have to replace it as often. Band saw. A band saw is a power saw with a long sharp blade, consisting of a continuous band of toothed metal stretched between two or more wheel to cut material. They are used principally in woodworking, metal working and lumbering, but may cut a variety of material. They are also precise and optimal for cutting out custom shapes or tricky angles. The type of metal a gauge and your blade choice will influence the cutting speed. Oxy fuel cutting. Oxy fuel cutting are processes that use fuel gases, acetylene, and oxygen to weld and cut metals. Once you light the nozzles, a high temperature flame will allow you to cut thick pieces of metal that are impossible via other methods. It is the heat that continues the cutting process. The cutting torch only heats the metal to start the process. Further heat is provided by the burning metal. The torch is faster and much quieter than a saw, but does require some practice to use it properly.
In conclusion, most of these methods won't leave burrs or sharp edges when used correctly. If they do, you may be cutting too fast, or your blade may have become too dull.